Hey guys, it's Justin. Get ready for a fun day together because we are back at Epcot's Flower Garden Festival. I just wanted to continue checking out all the topiaries, the live entertainment, and of course my favorite part, the food! There's still so much food I didn't get to eat that I want to, and we still need to finish the garden graze. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that now by clicking the red subscribe button below, and then click the notification bell, that way you're notified every time I release new videos. And if you like this video or find it helpful, click that thumbs up icon below and share it with someone that might also benefit from it. And finally, if you need prayer for anything, I'd be glad to pray for you. Just list your request right below in the comments. Alright, we're just waiting to get into the parking lot, so as soon as they let us in, we're going to start our fun day. Here we go! All right, it is 10 o'clock and the park officially opens at 11 o'clock today. We're the first ones here. Just remember, no more temperature screenings. We go right up and through security. They don't even have the background music playing yet. You can probably hear that person fertilizing the grass. We are early, guys. Let's start our fun day. All right, what a beautiful sight. Spaceship Earth in front of us, and no line. All right, guys, as we pass the beautiful fountain here at the entrance, it is 10.05, 55 minutes until the park officially opens, so let's see what we can get done in that time frame. Of course, I'm going to head back to Test Track, as I usually do first thing, to try to beat the crowd there. That certainly will build throughout the day as far as wait times. So we want to do that early. All right, the Guardians of the Galaxy building looks about the same as it did the last time I was here. They are still working on that without an opening date. And I can hear the cars being tested at test tracks. So that's a good sign that it will open on time or early. Well, let's get over there in line. All right, we have made it to test track. No one in front of us. What a beautiful sight. Let's get inside. All right, I just asked a cast member and she said they're still not doing single riders line. So even though Universal Studios is doing single riders, Disney is not just yet. So hopefully soon, we'll see. All right, it is 10.18 and we are about to board test track. Morning, just one. All right, we are front row guys. Here's our vehicle. All right, we're off. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Okay. Monitoring road surface. Connecting to OnStar. SIM card performance data acquired. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off-road and extreme weather split. Drive systems analysis. Hyperspectral imaging in progress. Calculating total enviro impact. my car on display. Forgot about that. All right. 
right, we'll pass through the new Chevrolet showroom here and then see if we can head on over to Mission Space. Not a lot of people here right now. But it will be busier later. All right, let's go. Well, good morning, Buzz. All right, let's get on over to Mission Space. Just keep in mind, not every attraction is open before the park officially opens, but typically Test Track and Mission Space are. So we will jump onto one of these tracks. What do we want to do, orange or green? Attention astronaut candidates, you have selected green team, less intense training. However, if you are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions. Congratulations team. You have been selected to train for a spectacular mission around the earth. Your flight path will take you west across North America, Asia, Europe, and back home to Florida. You're gonna love it. T minus three minutes and count. Attention, trainees. Follow the there we go. floor to your extra training and begin boarding now. Here's our spacecraft. And we'll be pilot guys. Here we go. You are go for launch. We have main engine start. That's a good thing. Mission control, the tower is clear. And we are airborne. Mission control to X2. You are go and throttle up. Engineer, activate flight camera. Now. Computer override initiated. Your flight path today is taking you across the United States, okay. past the Grand Canyon, and leaving the continent at San Francisco. Just beautiful. The space station should be coming into view. And down on Earth, the Hawaiian Islands. Wow, God's creation is so In beautiful. In a moment, you'll be crossing paths with another X-2, just launched from the Pacific. We are. Ahead, Paris, the city of light. Gorgeous. Tonight, there's a spectacular northern light show on your horizon. We're getting reports of a strong storm cell directly in the landing path. Initiate descent. Now. Computer override. Engineer, extend wings for gliding. We got a hurricane, now. guys. Hang on tight. Oh boy, it's just me. Welcome. All right, Mission Space Green Track is in the books. Let's keep walking around and see what we can find to do next. It's 5 after 11. The park just officially opened five minutes ago. So let's continue our fun day. 
All right, as I usually do, I navigate the park clockwise. So we'll start here in Mexico and see if we can jump on the Grand Fiesta Tour with the Three Caballeros. We'll see if the Three Caballero animatronics are back. Let's go. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del parque. Y cuide los pies de la in 3D. Hey guys. Looking good. All right guys, just finished up the Grand Fiesta Tour and as you saw, the three caballeros are back in 3D. They were just wooden cutouts before and now they're back to their 3D animatronics. So, all right, heading into Norway now. Let's jump on Frozen. Here we go. All right, guys, we are row one, so we don't have to sit behind the plexiglass. I'm looking forward to that. Here's our vessel.
All right, guys, just finished up with Frozen Ever After. Now let's jump in line to the Kringla Bakery and get some school bread. That sounds good and refreshing right about now. Let's do it. All right, guys, I got my school bread with the Olaf topping and, of course, a cup of water because it's very warm today. Got to stay hydrated. So I'm going to dig into this and thoroughly enjoy and then keep walking around the world clockwise. Stay tuned. All right, guys, while in the China Pavilion, the next Reflections of China show starts in one minute. So let's jump in there. Ah, China. When one thinks of this magnificent country, one cannot help but envision the Wanli Chang The Great Wall. It once stretched like a mighty dragon across 4,000 miles of China. Welcome. I am Li Bai, a poet of the Tang Dynasty. And I have returned to share with you reflections of my beloved China. Like this great wall, it winds like a road across timeless landscapes. But one can also find landscapes that are ever changing. All right, just finished up with Reflections of China. Let's keep walking around the world and see what's next for us. It's a beautiful day. All right, guys, I stopped by the refreshment outpost here in the little Africa section of Epcot and got the pineapple skewer with tahine seasoning. And that is one of the items on the garden graze. So now I only have one more item to get to complete that. So let's see how this is. Very refreshing on a warm day. Okay, very interesting. I've never had the tahini seasoning before, but it's not too hot, but has a little bit of heat to it, and it goes well with the cold pineapple, so good balance, and like I said, very refreshing for a warm day. So I'm gonna finish this bad boy, see what's next for us. All right, I came over to the Germany food booth, and I got the potato pancake, and it comes topped with ham, caramelized onions, and an herb sour cream, and you know Tabasco's going on it. It's a pretty hefty portion. It doesn't look that big, but it's definitely heavy. So you can split it between two people if you're not eating a big meal. 
And don't forget to bring your own condiments and sides because Disney doesn't have things like pepper or Tabasco out at the food kiosk. So if you want a certain condiment, bring that along with you to make your dish even better. All right, I'm gonna dig into this and then keep walking around the world clockwise. All right, the next Voices of Liberty show starts in eight minutes. So let's jump into that. What a delight they are to listen to. Here we go. America, America, the land of the free, the home of the brave. America, America, the red, white, and blue. Wow, that was absolutely sensational. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. And Mariachi Cobra starts in 15 minutes here in the same theater, so I'm just gonna keep my seat and enjoy that. Here we go. Cuando hayas quien lo quiero yo Ay, cuando me gusta el sushi Y las tocas de la 
All right, just finished up with Mariachi Cobre. And while in America, let's jump into the American adventure, get some air conditioning, and enjoy that. Here we go. This is the beginning of the American adventure. Parliament's colonial policy is both arbitrary and unjust. That's nonsense. The same tea that costs you three shillings a pound costs us six. In the end, we the people prevailed and achieved perhaps our greatest dream. 13 very different colonies became the United States of America, and we were free to become an entire nation of dreamers and doers. Even amidst the cricket song here along Mark Twain's beloved Mississippi, I hear the noise of chains and the crack of the whip. Yet, there is hope. One was gentle, one was kind. One was gentle, one was kind. One came home, one stayed behind. A cannonball, don't they know mind? At last, the terrible civil war ended. The time had come to rebuild our shattered nation. And a new wave of immigrants would help us do it. From around the world they came, these new Americans. A thousand noble courage, wrote Herman Melville, all pouring into one. As Tom Edison says, discontent is the first necessity of progress. Why, for more than 3,000 years, God has cared for our giant sequoias, saved them from drought, disease, avalanches, and floods. But he cannot save them from food. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Yeah, I sure hope he's right. Folks could use a little prosperity around these parts. America, spread your golden wings, sail on free. The golden age never was the present age, but with human liberty, we can fulfill the promise and meaning of America. To everyone a chance, believed Thomas Wolfe, to all people, regardless of their birth, the right to live, to work, to be themselves, and to become whatever their visions can combine to make them. This is the promise of America. Looks like the new gelato stand is open here in the Italy Pavilion. That is new since I've been here last. All right, this is the line to the Mexico food booth. It's about 1.30, but you can see it lined up against the fence here. And it just keeps going and going to our left here. So things are kind of busy right now. And we're still in that lunch hour, so that's contributing to it for sure. All right, let's keep walking around. All right, guys, I stopped by Pineapple Promenade and got the Desert Violet Lemonade. Very refreshing drink for this warm time of year. And the best part about the new mask policy is you can walk around and eat and drink again. So happy about that. All right, let's do just that. See what's next.
All right, just stumbled upon the janitors. I hope you enjoyed those clips. I'm gonna head right next door to the World Show Place and see what's going on in there. And most likely get something to eat. Let's go. We get to celebrate nature together. The sun, the moon, the stars, the trees, the beautiful flowers all over Epcot. My name is Carol, hello? Hi, we're so glad you're here. I came over to Farmer's Feast here in the World Show Place and got the seasonal offering, which is the lemon ricotta cheesecake. And they do keep their menu rotated throughout the festival, so keep checking back for new items. I'm going to dig into this and see what's next for us, guys. All right, just took a nice break in the World Show Place. And we even got to hear the pianist Carol play. Hope you enjoyed those clips. And we will keep walking around on this gorgeous day at Epcot. I don't see a cloud in the sky. Let's see what's next. All right, while in the Canada Pavilion, let's stop by Canada far and wide. Hopefully it's not too long of a wait. And that is the Circle Vision 360 degree movie that they have here in the Canada Pavilion. They recently reimagined it with Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara. Two hilarious Canadian actors. Let's see if we can seek some air conditioning and enjoy their humor. Here we go. Legend says the word Canada comes from Kanata, the Huron Iroquois word for village. And although those early villages have grown into our modern provinces, Canada has remained a cultural mosaic, a place where you can keep and nurture your language and traditions while embracing the future. Just west of the Atlantic in central Canada, you'll hear lots of French accents because French is an official language spoken here. Let's move on to our third region, the Prairie Provinces. With the Rocky Mountains on one side and the prairies on the other, Calgary is absolutely gorgeous and one of today's most exciting modern cities. Our fifth and final region is the North, divided into Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. For countless generations of families, this majestic home has provided a traditional lifestyle. All right, just finished up Canada far and wide. Always a treat. Let's keep walking around. All right, I'm gonna head on over to the Land Pavilion next. See if we can jump on Living with the Land and Soarin' and seek some air conditioning. It is a warm but beautiful day. Doesn't bother me a bit. Let's go. All right, it was a posted wait time of 20 minutes for Living with the Land, so I jumped in line, but it's not anywhere near that long of a wait. Maybe a five minute wait, if that. So I'll take it, yes please. Living with the Land. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. Of all the four 
forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. In Japan, we're learning that by mixing leaves and other living materials into our soil, we can make farmland more fertile without any chemicals. Here at Epcot, we're learning to reduce the need for chemical pesticides by breeding and using natural predators, like ladybugs and wasps, to control pests. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. How to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. All right, just finished up with Living with the Land. I'm going to head on over to Sunshine Seasons and pick up a cup of ice water. All right, soaring around the world has dropped to 35 minutes. It was 65 minutes earlier. So I'm glad that we knocked out Living with the Land first for that walk on. And now we will jump in line and enjoy soaring. Here we go. Soaring to tower. We are ready for takeoff. All right. Just finished up with Soren. May as well walk right next door and say hi to our pal Figment. Posted the wait time at 15 minutes, but I don't think it's anywhere near that. Let's jump inside. And just as I suspected, it's a walk on. Hello, yes, just one. Awesome, thank you. We got car number two, and we are boarding now. Senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, and taste. Taste my chicken. Um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. All aboard. From just a sound, your mind 
has wings. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. I say imagination must be captured and controlled. Just finished up with Journey into Imagination with Figment. Now let's head on over to the Seas with Nemo and Friends since we're up here in Future World. I see a posted wait time of 10 minutes for that. So let's see if we can jump in line and knock that out. Here we go. forget here at the sea base where you exit the seas with Nemo and friends they have all these aquariums set up that you can browse all the fish this tank happens to have eels I think there's an eel hiding in this rock here yeah there's one with seahorses all kind of aquatic wildlife you can meet here all right, just finished up the seas with Nemo and friends, and it is a walk on for Spaceship Earth since I'm at the front of the park. No brainer, why not? Let's jump on and enjoy this classic attraction here at Epcot. Here we go. When we move, the recorded knowledge stays behind. Check the Phoenicians. They invented them. Jewish scholars. Call it the first backups. 
Praise you, Lord God. Just finished up with Spaceship Earth. Let's keep walking around the world, see what's next. All right, I came over to the Flavorful Food Booth, which is where the old Waffle Food Booth was in last year's Food and Wine Festival. And I got a couple of dishes, starting with the grilled vegetables here on the left, and it's in hummus. And then I had the grilled salmon on the right. And you know both are getting my Tabasco sauce and black pepper. So again, I'm gonna enjoy this and keep walking around. All right, guys, I have completed the garden graze. I got five items from around the world showcase, the different food booths. And the completer prize this year happens to be a mango lime dole whip. And they also gave us some purple basil seeds to plant later. So we get a treat for now and something for later. And this is an exclusive flavor of dole whip from pineapple promenade. You can only get it as the completer prize. You cannot buy this separately. And it even comes in a little souvenir cup. So <laughs> I'm gonna eat this before it melts, hopefully and then keep walking around, see what's next for us. All right, I came by Trowel and Trellis and I got the Lavender Pot de Creme, which is basically a blueberry cake with lime whipped cream. And the cast member said it's kind of a mix between a panna cotta and a cheesecake. So I'm looking forward to trying this, never had it before. And here are the topiaries when you come into the main port of entry area of Epcot. You can see Donald and Daisy and Huey, Dewey and Louie in the background. They do such a phenomenal job with these topiaries. They're so detailed. They're all made of flowers and plants and they keep them so neatly pruned and they keep them alive during all weather. Absolutely amazing. Disney's horticulture team is phenomenal. Great job, guys. All right, I came back to Flavorful Kitchen and this time I got the strawberry mousse. And it comes with crushed Oreos and some gummy worms and they even put some strawberries on there. So I don't know if they ran out of ingredients or if this is the normal offering, but definitely looks a little odd to me. I'm sure the mousse is good though. So I'm gonna dig into this and keep walking around. All right, I came over to the perennial food booth, the citrus blossom and got the citrus shortcake which is an orange chiffon cake with whipped cream and an edible flower. And it has pieces of orange in it, so it has fruit, it's healthy. I'm gonna devour this and keep walking around on this beautiful evening here at Epcot. All right guys, that's gonna do it here from Epcot. What a fun and delicious day we had and what a beautiful day it was. Thank you so much for tagging along with me and sticking around to the end. I hope you had fun and got to see what the festival looked like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that now by clicking the red subscribe button below and then click the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I release new videos. And if you like this video or found it helpful, go ahead and click that thumbs up icon and share it with someone that might also benefit from it. Until next time, everybody, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay well, stay safe, and God bless. Bye for now. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God.